I think it would be fair to say that uh, since this street was named, many things have changed for the better. But in areas like this one, in Kentish Town, in North London, there are still the problems of urbanised existence, which must make talk of progress seem pretty hollow. They are the problems of the inner city areas, bad housing, lack of space, a feeling of living in a concrete jungle. For young people particularly, the frustration often leads to vandalism and violence, or at best a, a sense of deprivation. That's why a project pioneered here strikes me as an exciting example of the kind of thing we've been aiming to encourage through the Jubilee Trust. It's called interaction. On an open space in the middle of Kentish Town, a group of talented men and women is bringing some highly original ideas into play. Their problem was how to get young people to develop a sense of community involvement, how to stimulate self-help and a, a feeling of creativity in an area that doesn't readily inspire such things. Not all of the answers they came up with are visible in this unusual purpose-built center. After all, there's no great difficulty in erecting a lot of prefabricated buildings or in providing an area in which youngsters can kick a football about. Interaction, as the name might suggest, creates a chemistry that's attempting to bring the whole community to life. Welcome to Interaction, the Royal House. Very indeed. Marvelous. Very kind of you to come. I'm no, sorry. very kind of That's you to come. Very honored indeed. We have a few projects here that we'd like to show you. The motive force behind this operation is its director and founder, Ed Berman. For 10 years now, Ed Berman has helped Interaction grow from a small theater group based in a derelict shop to an organization that's involved in 14 different projects here in Kentish Town. During that time, they've been moving constantly from one temporary building to another. Then last year, they finally settled into this new center. And Ed Berman is hoping to expand even further. Well, we've left one wing of the building vacant. It just has the steel frame over it for local people to vote by referendum in four years' time on what they want to have expanded. Then they're going to have to help raise the money, and they're going to have to manage it themselves. It's an idea of, of involving the local community in a very real way in running something for themselves, which is one of the other purposes of interaction. But my point was, as far as the, the Jubilee appeal has been concerned, is that I feel there are enormous numbers of young people all over the country who want to do these things, who, who would like to get involved and so on. Do Up and down the country with different projects mm. like City Farms, which you're also mm. going to uh, be seeing. Mm. And people are terribly enthusiastic about getting involved in running something. With a very small amount of training, they can run it far better than we can. <laughs> The city farm sounds like a contradiction in terms, and perhaps that's what makes it such a worthwhile idea. Just down the road from their headquarters, Interaction have used a derelict site to bring a breath of the country into the town. Children who don't often get a chance to see a green field have had the farmyard delivered to their doorsteps with obvious appreciation. Way. Yeah. Here is a very good example of, uh, of what is meant by interaction. There's not only are all the animals here to, for the enjoyment of the children, but these horses enable the mentally handicapped children to find out something uh, about the joys of riding. Young people from the area give up their spare time to help run the farm. What do you do when you're not doing this? You, uh, you've got no job. Oh, yeah, I've got a job. It's, we do after work on anyway, sort of weekends. Really? Yeah, but at the moment we took, yeah, we got holidays, so we oh, have right. to help get ready. What's your job, in fact? Is it I work in a press. Really? Where? The Evening News? Uh, no, Cambridge University Press. The Cambridge University Press. 
So you, are you a printer, in fact? Come on. No, I'm going, I'm just going to print it. Line a type operator. operator. <laughs> do, you, do you ride at all or not? Yeah. You do? Usually about twice a week. Where? On the heath? Yeah. And that, that keeps you out of misery, doesn't it? Yeah, it keeps us off the streets anyway. And do you go jumping and... and yeah, we've been to some shows. We're just, like, since we started, yeah. we started to get ready for shows. Yeah. We just started to get to the standard where we can go in for shows. Very good. Are they going to be able to get in for shows yet or no? No, they're coming on. Very good. Quite well. Uh -huh. Being above all a practical outfit, Interaction is using the government's job creation scheme to employ more young people on renovating the buildings on the farm. The farm has been going for six years now and has been used as a model for others in towns and cities around Britain. Are you sure they're all getting the right amount of milk? No, this one's that one in it. Isn't he? No, she told us. It looks as though it does. It's just that nobody's giving you any. Really? So are you. Are they all girls? Are they all not? No, there's a, that one's a boy. Oh, yeah. The rest are girls. Oh. Oh. What are they calling in the nuts? Shut up. What are these rabbits called? Has that one got a name, is it? I don't know. What you know what it's called? Yeah. I used to have a white rabbit when I was small. It's called Harvey. Well, I've got an Angora. Have you? Yeah. Well, there's nice woolly ones. Yeah. At home? Yeah. So you know exactly how to look after rabbits, yeah. too? And what do you feed it on? Lettuce? Well, he either gets lettuce or he gets rabbit feed. Really? And he gets tomatoes and all stuff mm -hmm. like that. Really good. Is he getting fatter and fatter and fatter? Yeah. Has he produced any, any babies yet? No, it's a boy. It's a boy, is it? My mum's oh, trying to get a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Trying to get a girl, is she? Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Hello, rabbit. Oh. What is it, Mara? It's got the most wonderful feet. You see, it's hairy feet. Yeah. What sort of rabbit is this one? Uh, uh it's Dutch. Dutch, this is sweet. He's very worried. We found it in a vacant lot. We found it in an empty plot. One of the most exciting of the new projects getting off the ground is called Make It Yourself. Hey, hey, let's live in a shoe. Hey, hey, it's a good thing to do. It's not so much do-it-yourself, which tends to be associated with putting up shelves or fitted wardrobes, but a creative enterprise that also brings these youngsters into contact with the media and the business world. These young people are making their own record. The song that they're singing comes from a pantomime they're about to produce. Marvellous. Sounded very good, all in tune. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote the song? Uh, Harriet. Really? It's very good. And they're doing it the right way, are they? Yeah. How long have you been practicing for? Well, about two weeks now. Really? Yeah. It's very good. And so you haven't actually started recording yet? Uh, I don't think we have, have we? No, we hope not. <laughs> no. You are now, whether you like it or not. But this is, uh, you're enjoying it anyway, that's yeah. amazing, right? Would you like to join in? Do you think I could? Sing a song I don't even, I don't even know the tune yet. Can I see what you're, what you're actually doing? That's the chorus we're doing. Who's Aggie Burton Kids? Oh, that's the pantomime. <laughs> that's the song to the pantomime. Oh, really? Yeah, and the pantomime's uh, called Put a Sock in It. <laughs> Put a Sock in what? <laughs> in the boot. Oh, I see. <laughs> ah, it's very good. It's a new version of, uh, the old lady lived in the show. Is it? And then when you've done the record, you're, you're going to sell it, are you? Is that the idea? Yeah, try and make some money to buy sports equipment and uh, mm -hmm. go to the old people's gardening at the farm. Do you think somebody will buy it, do you? Oh, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good enough. You better send one to me after all that, don't you? Good. So what do you, you want me to... Why don't I take something like that? As I don't know the words. Take the Can I take that? Yes, sure. Right. I'll come over here. Yeah. Good idea. No, you've got to excuse me, because I'm not very good at this. What's the tune? What is this? Hey, hey, let's live in a shoe. Hey, hey, it's a good thing to do. Kind of different, kind of new. And there's still room for quite a few. Hey, you and you and you and you and you. Come join us in a shoe. Yeah, you can come too. 
Is that right? Really? Yeah, that's really? Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, we can put it on, put it on the tape. <laughs> Upstairs, the design department is in action, producing the sleeve for the record. Out of an original stake of 200 pounds, loaned interest-free by interaction, these youngsters will produce and market their disc themselves. They must budget for all the costs involved, from printing the cover to pressing the finished disc. Oh, look, it's for that. Any profit will go to help their group, school, club, or whatever. Well. So this, this is your own design, is it, this one? Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah. Me, me, me and uh, one of my mates started it off. Yeah. He's not here at the moment. We always started it off and we just we got the name. Yeah. And we worked off the name to, to get that mm -hmm. at the moment. And this, if you take this out. <coughs> Right. When you just up your phone, that's meant to be the record oh, underneath. Because that's, that's the record, then when you put it in the sleeve, yeah. it's meant to mingle with the rest of the cover. What's going on down this end? This is the ladies' department down here, is it? What are you doing over here? Same thing? Yeah, but mine's gone wrong. It has gone wrong? Yeah. What have you done? I went when I was cutting it round, that, that the arm went funny. Huh? <laughs> Other groups are working on producing a book <laughs> and a calendar. The whole idea of make it yourself is that they can become involved in a world that must normally seem alien and out of reach to them. Kids are always just listening to records and never feel they have a chance to get their hands on the controls of doing this. And if you offered a group of young people a chance to make their own record with songs from their school or whatever, I mean, I'm sure they would all jump at it and they'd have to learn how to do it in order to be able to produce the thing at the end and to be able to sell it and get the money back that we or some other group will have loaned them. Yeah, but the trouble always is the money, isn't it? I it's finding the money to do this. Well, you see, Interaction runs an advisory service and we have up to 1,200 groups coming to us a year for advice mm -hmm. and we find that money is never the problem. The problem is always their lack of knowledge or their mm -hmm. lack of a real focus on what they actually want to do, because if you can straighten that out and, and they can see where they fit into the picture, the money always follows. It does. It actually it does. encourage a lot of people. Well, if people are doing something that is really useful to yeah. other people, then yeah. surely somebody yeah. will pay for it. Yeah. One of the most familiar sites in our inner city areas, the inevitable tarmac play area, with the predictable pieces of playground furniture. It's all right as far as it goes, but because it lacks direction and supervision, it's often a breeding ground for vandalism, bullying and frustration. But it doesn't have to be like that. Most of the activities on the tarmac football pitch next to Interaction Center are run by local people, the Talaker Action Group. Interaction are working with them to pioneer new schemes for turning sites like this into places of fun and involvement. The wheels are such an odd angle. Oh, the less petrol are, the less gone fast. Yes. What? The less petrol gone fast. Really? Yeah. It's government. Isn't it? They call this uh, project Sports Space, and through their efforts, they've multiplied the number of youngsters using this site by 15 times. The go-karting has grown in leaps and bounds, and uh, the hope is to set up a Grand Prix network of circuits throughout the London boroughs. OK, off the track, everybody! As well as go-karting, there is also organized cycling, football and athletics. One. Top professionals like Bob Carey give up their time to help and encourage the children. It's in the supervision of these activities that interaction has shown its practical many-sidedness. 
Once again, it's using the job creation program to employ young people to spread the sports space idea all over London. And for this pilot scheme in Kentish Town, they've selected as leaders promising young British sportsmen. All right, back, come on. In return for working with the children for 20 hours a week, the sportsmen are awarded bursaries worth 2,000 pounds a year each. The initial bursaries have been provided by Marks and Spencer, and they mean that while contributing to the development of sport at grassroots level, these young people can train intensively for their own sports events. Cross. There are people like Penny Zinniu, an international decathlete, and now ranked number two in Britain, and Gary Oakes, a local Camden boy, who, as a 400-meter hurdler, won a bronze medal last season in the European Junior Athletics Championships. The first of the sports bursary holders was Keith Parfit, a promising shot putter from the local club Highgate Harriers. Oh, I think it's a marvelous idea. Um, uh, when I first got the opportunity, I, I was, you know, thrilled absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was had a, a what you call a dead end job. I was working in a factory, and uh, I was factory labourer. Mm -hmm. And uh, my athletics club got in touch with me to come on this bursary. And uh, I came down and met Alan. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, you know, marvellous. Uh, so you go. Yeah. Well, you really haven't looked back since. since. Well, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but the, 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 the idea is that you work, uh, what, several days yeah. a week here? Yeah, the, the idea is that you do a certain amount of hours. Yes. Uh, and you can also dedicate yourself to training more. Yeah. You know, you used to get a lot of time off for training. Yeah, um, yeah just generally, it's a very sort of, a free atmosphere and it yeah. helps you to yeah. sort of uh, perform. Massively. What about the children? Do you get on well with them? Oh yeah, I love children, yeah. yeah. They're great. They're a good lad, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Can get a bit um, on top of you sometimes, but yeah. as long as you Think can work on through holidays. it. Yeah. They're all here all the time. Right? Yeah. But I mean, uh, to me it seems a, a wonderful idea that you've got the go-karting and the skateboarding and all sort of sports in, in an inner city, city yeah. area. Yeah, this is to sort of the, uh, the whole idea of this site. It, yeah. It's superb. And, yeah get the chance to set it up elsewhere, of course, is uh, even better. Jolly Kevin Wee's stand. What are you going to do? What you, what you call the turn at the other end? Quick turn, or Is it? There you go. You're an expert at that, are you? No. Yeah? Yeah. What about looping the loop? <laughs> you are, are you? Hey, You're the expert. Come on, then. Are you going to show us? Do you think it's safe? If I go straight down there, I'll be all right. I haven't, I haven't done it for such a long time. I've tried it. I have, I have got one of my own. I don't know, I'm going to start down here, just to get the idea of it again. I haven't done it for such a long time. No, I think I'm going to... This is more dangerous, isn't it? Had I known in advance that there was skateboarding here, I would, of course, have bought a helmet and all the other protective paraphernalia. Sorry about that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope I haven't ruined it, though. Eh? Thanks a lot, Olivia. Well done. I know what you mean. It takes a lot of time to get the balance, doesn't it? I know. Oh, well, I must practice. <coughs> Having seen something of what interaction is trying to do, I'm sure you will agree that it is quite impressive. These imaginative and refreshingly simple schemes are exactly the sort of thing we aim to encourage and support through the Jubilee Trust. In fact, Interaction has already applied for help. I believe it is worth emphasizing very strongly that schemes such as this can often be got off the ground simply by having the right sort of equipment or materials available. Look at the go-kart scheme, for instance. It requires about 200 pounds to buy one and so much benefit can come from it. 
If youngsters can become more interested and thus more motivated as a result of being involved in schemes such as this in inner city areas, then the whole community will ultimately benefit. This is the primary object of the Jubilee Trust.